Today we want to work on Blender and uh, 3D printing. We will use this uh, machine from Cruiser uh, i3MK2 to have a good quality. It is, uh, comes with a heat bed and uh, with self-calibration. So it's quite easy uh, to set up and quite robust in uh, use. So let's start and go in detail. This machine comes with uh, seven different uh, actuators. So there are the motors for the Z direction, there is a motor for the X direction, here is a motor for the Y direction, uh, we have the motor for uh, the uh, transportation of the filament, then we control the heat of the bed, we control the heat of the nozzle and we control the speed of the vents, vent, vent, ventilation to cooling. So and we can uh, go here for the uh, settings and simply go for all these uh, different actuators. So now this for example is a movement in x direction and you see it's directly working like that. So this, this stepper motor it's going like this. So go for y the bed, go for Z, very uh, straightforward. And now the extruder, so this is this motor, but for that we first need to uh, uh, heat in the uh, nozzle. So go, um, go back to settings, go for temperature, we have to set the temperature for the nozzle and it needs to be you can look it up with the special filament. Now this is from uh, 200 to 220. It's uh, it's PLA. So go to 210. Set it, and then it's starting. Then we can control the bed temperature. It's here go for for example 60 degrees with the typical temperature now this goes on and be careful here now this and the fan is uh, automatically not to get uh, you can control it manually but these are the uh, the different actuators and the direct commands to these uh, actuators now go to the info screen and we see the actual temperature we wait uh, for uh, the nozzle temperature for above 200 to start extruding. Now here we are. Now go again to settings, axis, extruder, and go for, for it. Now as you see it's coming. That's it. And the whole game of this machine is to synchronize in milliseconds uh, these seven uh, actuators so that you get a proper trace of these synchronized movements with then your artifact. So now go to the software level. So now start with the actual printing. First, we need a model with Blender. We can do and take anything. Uh, in this case, we simply take this uh, small cube to make things uh, simple. We only have to export whatever we have to SDL. So it's the most simple three-dimensional format, just triangulating uh, surfaces. So we put it, for example, to the uh, desktop as file cube, export, then we go here to desktop we see our cube at STL. The nice thing is that it is rendered. We also can go here for have a quick look. We can zoom. We can even rotate. So that's all this is nice. But that's the first step. That's all. 
This is a short interplay to illustrate that SDL files can be created from any kind of modeling software. For example, we can do that with uh, Mathematica. This is our second uh, tool in our uh, class. So go for um, a new notebook. Uh, our model is uh, defined by qubit. No. Qubit, so oh, oh, one, one, one. So that's our model. Our uh, graphics is a graphics 3D of our uh, model. Then we have this cube, very straightforward. And uh, next step, export. To uh, mcube extension STL. There are tons of different ex uh, extensions in Mathematica, AS, and Blender, and a lot of other uh, modeling softwares. So, STL is uh, the proper way. And uh, we simply say we want to have graphics exported to STL, and Mathematica is doing this job. So, what we get is an, another STL file, like here. That's our Mathematica cube. We can open that, for example, with, the, with preview, and we have our our cube. It's black, I don't know why. The um, other is white, I don't know how to control that. But that's it. So you have different modeling software, put it to STL, and then we will see what happens with STL towards our printer in the next step. Now the second step. We have our triangulated surfaces of our uh, model. And we have to translate it into commands for the actuators of our machine. This is always like, uh, like that in automation of robots, of the 3D printers and so on. In 3D printers, we use so-called slicers. So we have to make this, uh, these layers and we have to control the path of the extrusion. And uh, for that, there are some 12 different uh, softwares available, freely available on the internet. I'm using uh, Ultimaker Cura. You can find it easily, no problem. So it comes with this nice and intuitive interface. Open the file. Now our model is in millimeters, it's two millimeters high, so we make it 10 millimeters. So we need to scale it by 500. So here is the estimated printing time and the amount of material used, 11 minutes. It's very sensible because exponential, very sensible to the size of the object. Double size makes four times more printing time. So we go back to 500, that's it. So what we have is, what I really like is this uh, layer view here. Uh, select it, then it gets uh, center, and then you can zoom. And here you see all the different layers of our uh, artifact. And you can go in and see how the construction is. So you see the solid surfaces and walls, and you see the supporting structure, which is needed to be able to close the top so and you also can simulate the operating of the machine so that's quite nice so the software is configured for our printer you have to choose proper material and then they are, it comes with recommended, recommended settings. I change it a little because the instructions from Prusa have been different than the recommendation here. 215 and 55. This is working pretty well and you have to make some experience, experiments and experience with that. But that's pretty much what you have to do and you have to know. If this is okay with you, time look for proper setup of your material, then you're fine. Save it to our SD card and we have the G-code. 
let's have a short look at it. So this is our G code. Open with a text editor. And here you see how it is. This is G code. You see, we will discuss it uh, in the lecture. You see, there are uh, simple commands, coordinates, and so on. And this is step by step instructions to synchronize the uh, actuators of this machine. That's all. Let's go to the next step the printing. Now we're going for printing of our cube. I put it on the uh, SD card. Go in. Now uh, we have card inserted. We're ready to print. Choose print from uh, SD and uh, our uh, file cube G code uh, is here. We simply say start. This takes time. This is our thing. Okay, now we can take it and here we have a nice cube. That's it. Thank you for watching.